limitations that came from your biological father biological mother or your physical territory i stand by the honor and the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic i break you from it now yeah, good everyone. Welcome to the Dummies of the Church. Today we're going to be doing a thoughtful revision on the podcast by Apostle Church Are you ready to break free from the chains that hold you back? This powerful message emphasizes the urgent need for divine intervention in our lives. It calls upon God to expose the deceitful influences and remove any marks of deceitful that hinder our progress. Apostle passionately prays for the favor of God to manifest in every aspect, financially, relationally, and spiritually, urging everyone to reclaim their destinies. Will you take these necessary steps to embrace the favor and wisdom being offered to you? Are you ready to transform your life and witness the blessings of food before October 2024? Make sure you watch and pray along. Thank you. Limitations that came from your biological father, biological mother, or your physical territory, I stand by the honor and the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic. I break you from it now. Help them, please. I break you from it now. I break you from it now. I break you from it now. Every spirit that makes easy things difficult. You saw this with your father. You saw this with your mother. You saw this with your siblings. Sincerely, you have not been able to break through. In the name of Jesus, I come by the rod of the higher priesthood. And I declare in the name of Jesus, I push you to the next season of destiny. Help that man, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Everything that has covered your glory so that you are covered, nothing about you can be seen. Makatosh Kadia, Embrekete Seketa, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I tear that veil right now. Hear me. Where your physical father cursed you, I stand by priesthood to bless you. Anyone by your physical descent who said it will not be well with you, I stand by the privilege of the apostolic call. I reverse that statement. 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 Anyone who said it will not be well with you in the name of Jesus by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic I veto that statement and I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus at the count of three together we will shout that name that is above every other name and every wall of Jericho must go down are you ready? One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Now every stranger, every foul spirit, go now. Come out of their destinies now. In the name of Jesus. Please bring them out very quickly. I decree and declare. Lose them now and let them go. Lose their destinies now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Lose them now and let them go in the name of Jesus. We are still praying. I'm praying for you. Grace to not be distracted by every blessing God gives. Receive it. Grace to take care of yourself, your children, your family. When He blesses you, receive that grace. Grace to support the work of the kingdom without coercion and manipulation. Receive it. Grace to be a blessing to everyone around you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. God will give you wealth that will last. 
you will not go up today and down tomorrow you will not be wealthy today and be a beggar tomorrow in the name of Jesus now I pray for you any one of you who has been involved in any practice financially speaking that has drawn a cost to your life or to those around you you see that now the integrity of heart and loving Jesus serving him and living for him even with your finance your finance is also an act of worship I pray for you if there is any embargo that authorizes hell to keep recycling poverty and pain and want and lack around your life in the name of Jesus let the blood speak let mercy speak let the blood speak let mercy speak I pray for you let me speak over your finances the kind of favor that you need in this season for your business for your ministry for the next dimension of your life by the mercy of the God of heaven let it be released to you now let it be released to you now hallelujah this thing is a grace when we say it, people think it's pride if a grace is on you it will speak if it's not on you you can ask it to speak and it will not speak and it is not for one man it is for the body of Christ this thing we also received it from others are you ready to receive favor father this grace that you have placed upon men called favor that can draw kings, that can draw nobles, that can rearrange a platform to honor a man upon everyone who is here. Let that grace rest upon you now. Let favor 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 rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus. All the men, whether you call them business partners or destiny helpers or announcers or whatever it is, in whatever capacity, I gravitate them towards your life. I gravitate helpers towards your life. I gravitate the wealthy towards your life. Helpers of the world, may they find you. May they bless you. May they find you. May they bless you. May they find you. May they bless you. May God use them to lift you. May God use them to announce you. I say it again. May God use them to bless you. May God use them to announce you. In the name of Jesus. I bless your September, I bless your October, I bless your November, I bless your December. I say it again, September be blessed, October be blessed, November be blessed, December be blessed. Good news all the way, miracles all the way, favor all the way, joy all the way. And now may the God of peace himself give you peace always and by all means I call you spiritual people I call you discerning people I call you prosperous people I call you loving people in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that death and tragedy is far from your habitation I'm praying for you that you will experience favor like never before let the goodness of God wrap you throughout the remaining part of 2024 in the name of Jesus and that every long-standing issue an issue that has been there for a long time you've prayed you fasted I agree with you one last time let it turn for you for a testimony I decree and declare there shall be no loss there shall be no loss when men say there is a casting down for you I declare that there is a lifting up let me speak a grace on you everything that concerns your family life i'm praying for you this week may god visit you in a strange way visit you in a strange way 
Visit you in a strange way. Visit you in a strange way. Visit your family. Visit your spouse. Visit your children. In the name of Jesus. For families that have been quarreling, living at loggerheads, may this week be the week of reconciliation. In the name of Jesus. And I speak as a man of God over you. Let this be the year of strange miracle marriages. Strange miracle marriages. I say it again, strange miracle marriages. Every power that has vowed that you will not enjoy that blessing, let that power be cursed now forever. In the name of Jesus. Amen. For someone, the financial blessing you have from now till the end of this service year, in the name of Jesus, between now and the end of Koinonia service for this year, from maybe the last five years put together, it will be that you have never received such favor. And I say from my spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, may God raise men to bless you. May God raise strangers to bless you. May God raise friends to bless you. May God raise mentors to bless you. May God raise those you have raised to bless you. Hallelujah. Nothing dies in your hands. I prayed a prayer earlier on. Please let me pray for you. I place a mark on your head. Every spirit that wants you to be a victim of kidnappers, I say it again, or accidents, or to hear bad news that they kidnap someone and you should bring money. I'm praying, let a mark of exemption rest on your head. Rest on your family. Rest on your family. And rest on your head. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak over you. In the name that is above all names. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8, 2 Corinthians 9 and 8, it says, And God is able to make all grace abound. Whether you are in business, in ministry, politician, captain of industry, an entrepreneur, whatever I decree and declare, every dimension of grace it will take for your life to command fearful results in this season. May that anointing rest on you. In this season, may that unction rest upon you. Rest upon your business. Rest upon your ministry. Rest upon your family. Rest upon your children. Rest upon your spouse. Rest upon the works of your hands. In the name of Jesus, I speak over your life. No going down. I say it again, no going down. The power that fights your remaining goes down for your sake. The power that fights your reputation goes down for your sake. The power that fights your testimony goes down for your sake. It will be good news all the days of your life. From one stride after another, one result to another, you will never plateau in life. You will never plateau in destiny. In your finances, go forward. In your relationships, go forward. Your prayer life, go forward. Fasting, go forward. Your word study, go forward. In character, go forward. In the name of Jesus. Extraordinary wisdom, let it rest upon you. The power of the Holy Ghost, causing you to walk in extraordinary dimensions, let it rest upon you. Hear me. Wealth by your value and wealth by favor through relationships. This double sworded, this, this two edged sword of wealth by relationships and by value, let it gravitate towards you. Men will arise to help you, arise to help your children. You hear me? Every spirit assigned to cut short your life, I decree and declare. Both the human and spirit agents, they go down for your sake. Let me pray for you again. 
I'm praying for you. If there is any covenant that connects you to the grave, using sicknesses, using accidents, using plane crashes, using kidnaps, I decree and declare, be released now. Be released now. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is giving me one instruction. Please stretch your hands towards me. The Lord is saying I should speak over your hands. Your hand is a symbol of your productivity. Every good thing is received with the hands, not the feet. When I give you something, you receive it with your hand. No matter how heavy it is, you will try. Even if someone assists you still with the hand, I pray for you. As God has instructed that you stretch it towards me. If there is anything on your hand that is a cost to your blessings, that does not in the name of Jesus, every chain holding your hand so that you cannot receive the reward God has for you. I break that chain now. I break a I break that chain now. Every blessing my God has released, may it enter your hand. 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 It enter your hand. And that of your children. And that of your spouse. And that of your family members. In the name of Jesus. I'm still praying. The Lord is speaking to me and he's saying, remove the mark of disfavor. There are many, physically there is nothing wrong with you. But in the realm of the spirit, there is a mark of disfavor around you. That even when you go where you should be blessed, it looks like you are despised. I don't know who I'm praying for, but fire is coming on someone now. In the name of Apakatos Katapata, every mark of disfavor at the count of three, that mark must let you go now. One, two, three. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Be removed from your life. Be removed from your destiny. Be removed from your life. Be removed from your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. Career disfavor. Marital disfavor. Financial disfavor. Be removed from your life. Abracatoska leverado da coto parato siata, cafrenda vasa se queta pela cotusia. Hallelujah. You see, let me tell you the truth. Look up, please. This favor is a very terrible thing. When a man does not carry the favor of God in his life, you are not going to be able to make progress. The number one reason why people succeed in life is because of the presence of the favor of God. Favor with God and favor with men. I still want to pray that prayer. Don't be tired. Because this will explain the tragedy behind many of your lives. There are many people, it should not be so. No! Your life can't be indefinitely tied down. Nobody thinking about you to help you. Nobody calling for your help. I say it again. What is sitting on your destiny that will not allow favor reach you by the power of the Holy Ghost? I clear it out of your life right now. I clear it out of your life right now. I clear it out of your destiny right now. Number two, in the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray for direction. Some of you are confused. That is the reason why you are stagnated. When direction comes, speed comes to. In the name of Jesus, in your dreams, in your visions, may God give you clear directions. 
clear directions for the next clear directions for the next season in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me a very interesting vision. I'm seeing like a mango tree and I'm seeing mangoes fall down and they are wasting. They don't stay in the tree. And the Lord is telling me this is the issue of fruitfulness that has been happening for a family. Miscarriages again and again. They never stay. I pray for the family of Jane. Every spirit that has hindered fruitfulness, I stretch my hands now. Kabakatos kediata. Ah, let that altar catch fire now. Let it catch fire now. Let it aparosketa. Let it catch fire now. I bring liberty to the family of Jane. Every altar eating up children, destroying fruitfulness by the power of the Holy Ghost, it comes to an end now. I declare that your hunger for spiritual things is growing in the name of Jesus. Your life will be a representation of the power, the character, the grace, and the wisdom of the Spirit. Receive it in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you. I pray for you. Shama soba lakata. Raparikete berekotosiata. Ebranta parikata. Everyone under the sound of my voice. Be it ancestry. Be it activities of wicked spirits. In the name of Jesus. This is the house of God. Be delivered from that influence now. The spirit that makes tomorrow look like yesterday. I curse it from your life. I curse it from your destiny. I say it again. The spirit that makes your tomorrow to look like yesterday. I curse it from your life. I curse it from your destiny. I'm still praying for you. Everybody speaking evil in the ears of your helper that before you get to your helper a wrong word has already reached before you before you get there people who would have helped you and lifted you because someone sent by hell said something to them I pray for you every counsel of Ahitophel by the power of prophecy it dies right now it dies right now over your life your business your family it dies right now in the name of Jesus Christ please be sensitive you're not wasting your time hallelujah when Joshua led the people of God to defeat Jericho a cause was placed there and he said, whoever tries to rebuild this will build it with the blood of his firstborn and complete that building with the blood of the lastborn. And when you read that story, a time came when a nation came to try to rebuild it. And exactly what they said happened. Maybe some of you have made the mistake of Reuben. And many things happen to you. It may even be inherited troubles. But let me prophesy to you, let Reuben leave. The same way Moses spoke over Reuben and vetoed the prophecy that came. He said, Reuben, Jacob cursed him and said, you are my firstborn. You are my strength. But unstable as the waters, you will not excel. But Moses said, let Reuben leave. Everyone who has spoken against your life, I stand by the prophetic. I change that prophecy. I change that prophecy. I change that prophecy. You believe what you are hearing. I change that prophecy. Whoever caused you, I bless you. Whoever said you will not rise, I speak rise. Whoever said Nigeria will not favor you, I change that prophecy. Whoever said you will beg till old age, I change that prophecy. Whoever said your children will only eat from strangers, I reverse that prophecy. Let Reuben leave. Let his men not be few. The spirit of smallness 
that never allows you to expand experiencing the faithfulness of God I decree and declare may your hands be open for more may your mind be open for more may your relationships be open for more I say it again may your hand symbolizing your productivity be open for more may your mind be open for more may your relationships expand for more anyone waiting for your downfall will spend their lifetime waiting because as for you the Lord is your glory and is the lifter up of your head in the name of Jesus Christ you will soon sit down but every attack on the works of your hands you will be mistaken to imagine that everybody is clapping for you when you should be receiving an upload I pray for you anyone praying in the secret or in the open for your downfall so they rejoice for you to go down in ministry in business I pray they will not only be disappointed they will be the victims of their plot oh may the curse of Haman come upon them that the pit they dug for you they fall into it the Bible says when Haman dug a pit preparing to bury Mordecai that same night the king could not sleep whoever needs to wake up by God so that they will avert the destructions that have been plotted over your life your business your ministry your family by all means may the Lord of peace raise them and bring them for your rescue hallelujah I feel like prophesying remembrance over someone you have been part of the success story of many people but you have not eaten from it you are used many people today they cannot finish saying their story without your contribution yet the reward has not come to you I pray for you may the book of remembrance be open may the book of remembrance be open may you be rewarded like Mordecai may you be rewarded like Joseph rewarded like Mordecai rewarded like Joseph rewarded like Mordecai rewarded like Joseph in the name of Jesus doors of strategic finances be open the treasures of darkness the hidden riches of secret places be open doors of career be open doors of destiny help us be open in the name of Jesus someone shout open shout open shout open shout open listen to me please don't be distracted something is happening in this place look at me every city you see has gates in the spirit and doors in the spirit just because you are there does not mean the gates are open now you see if you grew up in the north or you have had encounters with the north you will know that when you are entering most of the northern states you will see like city gates am i right on that sometimes there are no doors until you pass that most of the people believe that you have not entered that city you will see maybe welcome to Kano or welcome to whatever those gates it was an ancient principle there are many people who are in Abuja here but in the spirit you are not yet in Abuja so you cannot eat of that which belongs to those who are here are you ready for gates to open and doors to open listen I have seen territories where the inhabitants never eat of the blessings of the land it is only strangers that eat of it I have seen families where the children never eat of the blessings of the land it is strangers that eat of it we are going to pray that prayer there's an anointing on these open doors open God has opened some doors in my life as a person and as a man of God and I know the benefit 
10 years can be compressed in one month under an open door. I am telling you. Are you ready to pray? Say, Father. Shout it, say, Father. In the name of Jesus. Strategic doors in this season that I must enter. I declare them open now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I declare them open. Everyone pray, be serious. Online pray. US pray. Canada pray. Kenya pray. South Africa pray. Ghana pray. Lagos pray. Every door, strategic doors, relational doors, financial doors, spiritual doors. Sabraga baga barakatash, lega prateka barakatos, kebrandeka baka barukatos. Take a minute to pray. All doors open in this season. All doors open in this season. Open of your own accord. Open unto me. Open for a new season. Open for greater influence. Open for greater kingdom impact. All doors open. Strategic doors open. Relational doors open. In Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray be seated for one minute be seated for one minute my God fire is burning in this place be seated in this place this testimony of open doors you will see how many people will come and stand here hallelujah let me tell you what happens when a door opens there is no restraint again an open door means access to the next level. All the rooms in a house are separated by doors. Just because you are in a house does not mean you will enjoy every provision in that house. You can be in the living room, but the door that leads to the kitchen is closed. And if it does not open when you are hungry, you will be in the house and be dying of hunger. The door to the restroom can be closed. When you are pressed and you need to ease yourself and that door is not open, it brings discomfort. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to bring all those that the power of God will rest on them now. Whilst you are seated. Whilst you are seated. Whilst you are seated. I want to make a declaration. This is not just for individuals. All these people are representing families. I'm seeing in the spirit. Families tied down by chains. Doors that have closed over them. This is what God is revealing to me. I want to bring them out. Every family here, not just, you are individuals, but you are representing families. No one has been able to go forward. There is an embargo that has sat upon families. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call upon El Shaddai. I call upon the warrior. Once you are seated, anyone here under territorial closed doors that have tied you down, Tie your family down right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let it descend upon that family now. Let it descend upon that family now. Descend upon that family now. Descend upon that family now. Bring them out. Descend upon that family now. In the name of Jesus. Descend upon that family now. My God, in the name of Jesus, he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder, tied by witchcraft, tied by ancestry, tied by bloodline, in the name that is above all names. I say it again, be delivered now, be delivered now, be delivered now, you and your family, be delivered now. Every force that keeps you down goes down for your sake. Every force attempting to keep you down goes down for your sake. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy over your life, go forward. Go forward. Make progress. Go forward. Make progress. I say it again, go forward. Make progress. Shame and reproach is far from your life. Stagnation is far from your life. Let it be clear that the hand of God is upon you. 
let it be clear that the wisdom of God is upon you. Let it be clear that the favor of God is upon you. Let it be clear that you have become Beulah and Hepzibah in the name of Jesus. Men will look at your life and they will learn God. They will look at your life and they will desire to know him. They will look at your life and turn away from evil. They will look at your life and press for righteousness. They will look at your life and love the things of God. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you. The era of foolish decisions, trouble-making decisions, destiny-pegging decisions, by this impartation of wisdom, may you begin to make superior decisions. Superior decisions. Decisions, one decision that you will make, you will leap five years forward. Five years forward. Five years forward. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that fights your influence, fights your relevance, by this grace, it dies here tonight. Hear me? Every man of God connected to this grace, every true son and daughter in ministry, I pray for you, for the sake of his majesty, rise to a global scale. May the nations demand your grace. May they honor Jesus in your life. In the mighty name that is above all names, the name of Jesus, I decree and declare where you have cried, whether in secret or in open, beginning from this night, may the God of all grace visit you and turn your mourning to dancing and turn your sorrow to joy. Shout a believing amen. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive divine direction. Divine direction. You will know where to go to. You will know who to meet. In the name of Jesus Christ. The error that comes as a result of lack of direction. May it not be found in your life. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you. The grace to discern helpers when they show up. May God open your eyes so that you will see. And you can receive of your helpers. In the name of Jesus. The kind of honor and favor you have never seen. This week, may God bring this as a witness to your life. What you have been looking for, I command it to start looking for you. Ah, 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 hear this one. What you have been looking for, may it start looking for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every confusion in your life, may the spirit of grace bring clarity to your life now. Everyone who is discouraged and downcast, you are wondering what will become of your life. I want to speak to you. In the name of Jesus, you will have the last laugh in this life. Anyone under the sound of my voice appointed unto death, I declare may death pass over you. May death pass over you. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the country. You are blessed in Abuja. Blessed in Lagos. Blessed in America, blessed in the UK, all over Europe, all over Africa. Return as a sign and a wonder. Return as a testament of God's favor. In the name of Jesus. Everywhere your finance is for this season, can I pray against the spirit of debt and borrowing? In the name of Jesus, anyone who is in a financial situation now, I give you one month by prophecy. May the God of all grace bring you out of it now. Every family that has not risen, you have not seen the hand of God, the testimony of God helping men. From your father to your mother to your siblings to you, every one of you in concert receives strange testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus, the gift that the Lord has put within you, I stir it up by the anointing and I declare, may it bring you profiting. 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 Your enemies will not see your back. Your enemies will not see your face. Their plans will end as vanity. But as for you, the Lord is your lifter. He will lift your head. He will give you speed. No delay. No retrogression. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Advance. Progress. 
in destiny. Locate me. Let my portion in life, my portion in destiny, locate me. Someone pray. In your prayer is your miracle. In your prayer is your miracle. Let my portion. Let my portion locate me by the spirit of grace. Hallelujah. Now hear me. Hear me. God is a God of portions. That means it is never God's idea for you to be a slave under someone forever. You can start and learn. But eventually God gives you your space. It's called Rehoboth. God has given up. And this also means territorial establishment. Are we together now? Yes. For a time period, you are allowed to stay in a place that is not your own. But with time, when the God of portion visits you. This is what happened to Jacob. Jacob was in the house of Laban. It was not supposed to be forever, but Laban used divination and found out that Joseph had been that um, Jacob. It was because of Jacob's presence he was increasing, and he refused to let Jacob go, change wives, did all change his wages, and kept that man for over twenty years. Anybody coming in the spirit of Laban to not allow you have your space in life and destiny. Stopping that word Rehoboth from becoming your reality. You dig a well and the Philistines come to cover it. You dig a well and they come to cover it. May my God give you your space. In life, in destiny, in your home, in your business. I say it again, the God of portions. May he give you your own space. Do you believe this prayer? Now look at me please. When Jesus was about to have what we call the triumphant entry, the Bible tells us that he sent his disciples. He said, go to a street whose roads divide. Watch this. You will see a colt tied there that no man, including the owner, had ridden on. There are people who are caretakers of certain things. It is not for them. It was supposed to pass through them. But the spirit of Laban says it will not pass. It will remain. I pray for you. Anyone carrying any colt that you should use for your triumphant entry. Triumphant entry in business, in marriage, in family, in ministry. And is refusing to allow that call get to you. I pray for you. May it be released now. May it be released now. Go to a street. Who's a road whose streets divide. And you will see a cold. There are monies God gave men that is not for them. He made them prosper unusually in the business. Not because of their transactional prowess. He knew that somebody. There are people today who have built properties they don't know why. That property is not just claiming people's things. This is not what I'm saying. Listen, please look up. Let me teach you something. There are two ways God blesses people. He blesses people by making you Abraham. Or he blesses you by making you Lot. Are we together? Not everyone will receive the mandate directly from God. But everyone can be the partaker of the mandate. If you are Lot and you are trying to prosper by being Abraham, you will die hungry. God called Abraham. But Lot said, I can still partake of it. Are we together now? So you need to know whether you are Abraham or Lot. If you are Abraham, your mandate is to be faithful with what you have received because there is a Lot who is at the mercy of your obedience. If you are Lot, you must discern so that you do not break the relationship with Abraham because your prosperity is tied to your discernment. The first decision Lot took outside of Abraham's influence landed him in Sodom and Gomorrah. That means his prosperity was not a function of his wisdom. He was under a grace of Abraham. Hear what I'm telling you. There are many of you who, if God is to allow you to learn all the business principles by yourself and start prospering, it may be till 2030 before you prosper. 
but he brings you after the order of lot it is one of the ways he redeems time by giving men favor because it takes time to learn the genuine secrets that produce lasting wealth and the truth is that there are people who have gotten born again late before they now begin to learn these principles a woman of 70 years where is she going to learn 25 principles for prosperity she's made the mistake she did not maximize destiny but is God still a God of mercy so God will bring Abraham to her and she needs to have the wisdom of Lot if you are Abraham I am telling you be faithful in hearing God because Lot there are many lots that are depending on your obedience but if you are Lot swallow your pride and honor Abraham because if you fight with Abraham that is the end of your prosperity the same Abraham that fought with Lot was the one who had to come and save Lot and even in doing that he lost his wife you know what it means to lose your wife the basis for your productivity Pharaoh said let the men go but the women and children should remain that means the men would die of old age of natural cause and there would not be a transgenerational there would not be continuity are we together please listen to what I'm telling you I'm speaking to you prophetically there are some of you right now by the mercy of God and because of the covenant God had with your parents instead of taking 10 years to start learning the principles the truth is that time has gone you already have five children before you learn all the rudiments, so what God does as an act of his mercy is he will let you hear when he's speaking to Abraham as Abraham moves you come as Lot provided you can be faithful a day will come you will not even know who God spoke to and who God on who is following the mistake do you know the trouble between Abraham and Lot started from their men not them their men train the people around you to know why the anointing is in your life so that they do not you don't lose the anointing and lose favor I don't know why the Spirit of God is speaking this through me I'm speaking to the entire globe listen to me there are people right now the reason why you will lose favor is because of your children you have not taught your children that the church God planted you in is the reason why God is honoring them and you are watching them dishonor the vessel that God is using to lift you learn from Lot remember Lot's wife but remember Lot too two of them have a story to tell are we together now know when you are Abraham and know when you are Lot not everybody will be Abraham you can look on to Abraham but not everybody will be Abraham there are people today God has granted them an unusual grace they can sit down where they are every year they can have opportunity to give up to 30 people jobs and because of your relationship with them out of those 30 slots they will give you three three every year make sure you don't fight this kind of people because the day that happens that it will be the day your child now just graduates from school and is ready for a job and that door is closed I pray for someone whatever has taken you away from the blessing of Abraham as Lot may my God who is your God bring restoration may my God who is your God bring restoration and if you are Abraham I'm praying for you the grace to stay until what God says manifest may it happen for you may that grace rest on you so that all the lots connected to you will not wait in vain because of your disobedience and Lot went with him that was the wisest thing Lot did and Lot went with him and Lot went with him and Lot went with him when it was time for God to help the Ethiopian eunuch he encouraged the servant Philip he said join this chariot for the sake of the man join this chariot if you leave this man alone confusion will kill him if you leave this man alone he will never be saved join this chariot can I tell you 
Beware of the people God brings in your life. There are destructive people I taught you, but there are people who are gifts. When you see other people joining your chariot, discern. If it's God that has sent them there, respect their presence. It's not idleness that brought them. God sent them to your chariot so that you will understand the interpretation of what you are reading. You have opened the book of your destiny, but you cannot understand it. So God sends them to join the chariot. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Can I pray for the sick now? Please lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. Believe. Do you know, Reverend Sam, I got to find out that there are four, I've discerned that there are four diseases that the devil is bringing to destroy people in the body of Christ. It didn't used to be an issue but it, the church seems to be keeping quiet over it and if we do not arise and pray number one is called cancer cancer thank god for the research that is being done in medicine but we need to pray and upgrade our levels of graces so that we can bring to end this this demonic thing that is killing people i know many people sadly who have died in the last two or three months because of this satanic thing one time i think it was a some maybe a few months ago i was praying for people and then this beautiful young lady seven years this little girl swollen by that devilish thing you would think it is old people but now seven years what did the girl do satan for you cancer cancer number two that I want us to pray for is Satan is beginning to creep and he's fighting the next generation in the church and he's using the tool of infertility this thing called poverty for as long as I'm alive and for as long as God gives me the privilege of leadership over this ministry I have vowed before God and it's my covenant to you that among many things that you must carry in this destiny is the grace to live a life of dignity and honor you believe that shout amen yeah. I will never raise a people who are just spiritually vibrant at the expense of their economic empowerment I'm committed to bringing the whole counsel of God among the five benefits of God is that he satisfied your mouth with good things so that your days are renewed your youth is renewed on it in the name of Jesus Christ the power of God is touching you right now now every bone condition bone conditions you are not able to walk you are not able to lift up your hands in Jesus name be healed now if you came with a neck collar or some bracelet around your neck or around your joints I decree and declare may the power of God touch you be healed now be healed now brain damage be healed now in the name of Jesus sleep apnea be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ there's a disease called insomnia in the name of Jesus be healed now the Lord a miracle has happened there look at this bring her out we're still praying bring her out a miracle has happened there Jesus I decree and declare that you begin to walk now let life and strength surge to your body right now in the name of Jesus and the name that is above all names I decree and I declare over your various points of contact inside and outside let an unction from heaven rest open upon your spouse in the name of Jesus where they rejected you let this grace rest upon you go back again in the name of Jesus Christ any man who fights you because of where God has placed you I'm calling upon the God of vengeance that in the name of Jesus Christ they go down immediately 
anybody who will not give you peace, who has made up his mind that under their watch you must cry. I call upon the God of Jeshurun, the one who rides upon the wings of the wind. May he arise for you as a God of vengeance. May he arise for you as a God of vengeance. In the name of Jesus Christ. I taught you that honor is the ability to not only be recognized, but to be rewarded to match your true worth. May my God, by this mantle, compensate you for every year of this favor. Any car you will enter, where you will never return home again. Any aircraft you will enter, that will be the end of your life. Any journey you will take, that will not allow you to return home. I call upon the God of my covenant. Let it be stopped forever. I say it again. Any car you will enter that will stop you from returning home. Huh? Anywhere you will go to that will mean the end of your life. You hear me? Every spirit assigned to cut short your life. I decree and declare. Both the human and spirit agents, they go down for your sake. In the name that is above all names, whatever has kept you down, for the name of Jesus and for being an effective witness, rise to a global scale. Rise to a global scale. In ministry, rise to a global scale. In business, rise to a global scale. May your products be global. May your services be global. In the name of Jesus. The giants that sit on every mountain and make sure people don't climb up to the mountain. Once you are at the valley, remain there. But once you want to climb up to the mountain, they say when your father did not climb there, your mother did not climb there. I pray for someone again. In the name of Jesus, for the sake of his majesty, you will be a record breaker. For the sake of his majesty, you will be a record breaker. I, I release that grace upon you. Listen, God who took me from nowhere and by his mercy took me where I am today, I pray for you. May God announce your names to kings. Announce your name to governments. Announce your name to captains of industry. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call upon El Shaddai. I call upon the warrior. Whilst you are seated, anyone here under territorial closed doors that have tied you down, tied your family down, right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost, let it descend upon that family now. Let it descend upon that family now. Descend upon that family now. Descend upon that family now. Bring them out. Descend upon that family now. In the name of Jesus. Descend upon that family now. My God. In the name of Jesus. He has broken the gates of brass. And cut the bars of iron in sunder. Tied by witchcraft. Tied by ancestry. Tied by bloodline. In the name that is above all names. I say it again. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. You and your family. Be delivered now. In the name of Jesus. Where you have not gone to. May your name get there. Where you have not gone to. May your teachings get there. Where you have not reached. May your products reach there. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Listen to me. I learned from Dr. Miles Munro that influence is a very great key in commanding kingdom advance. I have taught you what is influence. The ability to make men buy into your ideologies, your beliefs, without using force or cruelty. Can I tell you? If you lack this grace for influence, it doesn't matter how right you are, nobody will listen to you. Hallelujah. You don't have to manipulate people to believe you. You don't have to manipulate people to hear you. You don't have to manipulate people and say, don't listen to this one, listen to it. No, no, you don't have to. When that grace is on you, that grace can cause men to listen to you. I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus. Like you have never seen, you will command the loyalty of kings. 
you will command the loyalty of nobles. You will command the loyalty of both great and small, male and female, in the name of Jesus. Every negative cloud over your head that is driving good things, driving good people, making you see good as evil and evil as good, I decree and declare, let that cloud be lifted from off your head. Every demonic force manipulating your reasoning, always making you to get into trouble, making bad decisions, I cry unto God again in the name of Jesus. May your mind be under the influence of the Spirit of God. Superior destiny advancing decisions. Ministry advancing decisions. Finance multiplying decisions. Grace multiplying decisions. Whatever has made it difficult for you to meet your helper, by prophecy I shorten the distance between you and your helper. By prophecy I shorten the distance between you and your helper. I shorten the distance between you and your helper. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare everyone who forgot you, may they remember you tonight. Not tomorrow, may they remember you tonight. May they remember you for good. May they remember you for kindness. May they remember you for promotion. May they remember you for lifting. May they remember you for help. May they be instruments of restoration. In the name of Jesus. Anybody that plans evil for you, in the name of Jesus, what happened to Haman will happen to them. I say it again. Digging a pit for you to fall. May they fall into that same pit. Fall into that same pit. Fall into that same pit. Not to a hearer that if you found your way to this place or you are connected in the name of Jesus, you must carry a potent testimony tonight. Back home. You must carry a potent testimony tonight. Back home. In the name of Jesus. Testimonies are real. Testimonies are real. They are manifestations of the hand of God, the visitations of God by his word, through his spirit in the life of his people. Are you ready for a change of story? You are going to cry. I will list out the prayer points and you will pray. It's part of the miracle service. You hear the word of the Lord. Every pain, every pain, let it be gone now. Every pain. Pain around your chest. Pain around your, your back for someone. The lumbar area. Let that pain be gone now. Pain around the limbs. Be healed now. For someone, you have severe pain. I'm seeing someone pain around your right ear. Be healed right now. Amen. Your hands, severe pain. This has happened now for days for someone. Be healed right now. Amen. Shout a believing amen. amen. There's someone you have a very severe pain around your rib area. I'm not sure if you've gone to the hospital for tests, but in the name of Jesus, the Lord is bringing you healing right now. Amen. Bringing you healing right now. Amen. Now every pain, whether I mentioned it or not, I decree and declare be healed now. Amen. I'm hearing the name Christova. Who is Christova? I'm hearing a name Christova. Christova. I'm going to minister deliverance right now. Christova. Is there someone with such a name? Christova. God wants to set you free. Christova. Who is Martha? Martha. M-A-R-T-H. Martha. Who is Christova? Please don't come out at random. If it's not your, if don't feel bad. If it's not, don't worry. Everybody will receive. Hallelujah. Christova. 
Bring for me the gentleman that shouts now under the anointing. Loud. Please pick him and bring him to the front. A gentleman, not a lady. Your name is Christopher. What do you do? I'm a student. I'm a student. Huh? Come again. NDLEA, sir. NDLEA. NDLEA. Yes. I'm going to pray for you, Christopher. Yes. The Lord wants to do a miracle in the life of Christopher. The power of God is coming on one of you right now. I just saw light, the ladies. One of you, the anointing of the Spirit is coming upon you. Martha, I'm hearing the name Martha. I cause that oppression of darkness. Let her go now. Christopher, I pray for you in the name that is above all names. Let the spirit of death over the family of Christova in the name that is above all names whatever is programming an obituary over the family of Christova it dies now in the name of Jesus dies now in the name of Jesus is there anyone with the name Maimuna that should be a house in northern name I'm hearing Maimuna I want to pray for you if you find such a person we have to be very fast. Christopher, you, the spirit of death over the family of Christopher, I come against it right now. I declare you will live and not die. You will live and not die. You will live and not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know, I presume there might be a number of people, but there's a gentleman here, they call you Junior. Junior, what's your name? Junior. They call you Junior. Junior. Yes, yes. Look at me. Where are you from? Benway State. Benway State. I need to pray for you because I'm seeing your leg swelling and I'm wondering what is swelling this leg. Don't be afraid. I'm not a prophet of doom. Stand up, my friend. Junior. They call you Junior. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over this gentleman. The Bible says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. As I'm praying for him, I'm praying for you. Anybody that plans evil for you, in the name of Jesus, what happened to her man will happen to them. I say it again, digging a pit for you to fall. May they fall into that same pit. Fall into that same pit. Who am I prophesying to? In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, I call upon he who has the key of David, the one who opens a door that no man can shut and shuts a door. Every door that has been closed over your career, over your life, over your destiny, I declare, a father be open. 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 Every force attempting to keep you down goes down for your sake. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy over your life, go forward. Go forward. Make progress. Go forward. Make progress. I say it again, go forward. Make progress. Shame and reproach is far from your life. Stagnation is far from your life. Let it be clear that the hand of God is upon you. Let it be clear that the wisdom of God is upon you. Let it be clear that the favor of God is upon you. Let it be clear that you have become Beulah and Hepzibah. In the name of Jesus, men will look at your life and they will learn God. They will look at your life and they will desire to know Him. They will look at your life and turn away from evil. They will look at your life and press for righteousness. They will look at your life and love the things of God. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you. The era of foolish decisions, trouble-making decisions, destiny-pegging decisions, by this impartation of wisdom, may you begin to make superior decisions. Superior decisions. Decisions, one decision that you will make, you will leap five years forward. 
Five years forward. Five years forward. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that fights your influence, fights your relevance, by this grace, it dies here tonight. Hear me? Every man of God connected to this grace, every true son and daughter in ministry, I pray for you, for the sake of his majesty, rise to a global scale. May the nations demand your grace. May they honor Jesus in your life. I will multiply them, they will not be few. I will glorify them, they will not be small. I say it again, be multiplied. May you experience the glory of God. The gift of men. Please everybody receive this one. The gift of men. So that you don't struggle for nothing. There has to be a helper somewhere. Ordained by God. Anywhere at all where there is a need. I tell you there is a helper. I pray from today. You will not struggle to find helpers. You will not struggle to find helpers. Help us in ministry. Help us in business. Help us in your family. You will never be alone to struggle alone again. In the name of Jesus. May someone be interested in your matter. May someone be interested in your rising. May someone be interested in your shining. May someone be interested in your restoration. In the name of Jesus, go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Advance. Leap over walls. Run through a troop. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody speaking evil in the ears of your helper. That before you get to your helper, a wrong word has already reached before you. Before you get there, people who would have helped you and lifted you. Because someone sent by hell said something to them. I pray for you. Every counsel of Ahitophel, by the power of prophecy, it dies right now. It dies right now. Over your life, your business, your family, it dies right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of smallness that never allows you to expand experiencing the faithfulness of God I decree and declare may your hands be open for more may your mind be open for more may your relationships be open for more I say it again may your hand symbolizing your productivity be open for more may your mind be open for more May your relationships expand for more. Anyone waiting for your downfall will spend their lifetime waiting. Because as for you, the Lord is your glory and is the lifter up of your head.